name is Kehkesha. I am a 21-year-old Toronto resident and the founder president of Green Hope Foundation, a UN ECOSOC accredited youth-led not-for-profit that I founded when I was 12 years old to empower vulnerable communities in mitigating the impacts of anthropogenic climate change and biodiversity loss, using education for sustainable development as a transformative tool that provides them with the knowledge, skills, and behaviors to think and act sustainably. Green Hope Foundation now has a presence in 26 countries, and our programs have directly impacted over 300,000 people. I am a Forbes 30 under 30 and the only Canadian recipient of the International Children's Peace Prize for my work on linking children's rights and environmental conservation. I have been a National Geographic Explorer since 2019 and I'm humbled to have been chosen as the recipient of this year's Meritorious Service Medal from the Governor General of Canada. I have just graduated from the University of Toronto as a Dean's List Scholar with a major in Environmental Studies. I am delighted to be a part of the inaugural cohort of grantees of the Trebek Initiative Project. Environmental education is a critically important aspect that is missing in Ontario's education system, and it is this gap that my project addresses. The benefits of environmental education from a young age are well known, and a 2018 UNESCO report emphatically espouses the need for integrating environmental education into education systems for its multidisciplinary perspectives that allow students to gain a broader understanding of planetary balance and facilitates their journey towards becoming responsible stewards of their environment. My project will facilitate this transformation through a series of virtual and in-person workshops as well as field trips that will build geographic literacy as well as educate students about local environmental and biodiversity challenges. The learning delivery will be unique using Greenhill Foundation's innovative Environmental Academy concept that employs a variety of creative expression methods like art, music, and drama that have been proven to successfully stimulate students irrespective of their age and learning language capabilities. In terms of numbers, my project will directly engage about 400 children and youth across primary, secondary, and high school levels of varying learning capabilities and from diverse socioeconomic backgrounds. They will gain knowledge about subjects as well as issues that are missing from their current curriculum. The project will pique their interest and curiosity and it will find creative expression through their artworks and digital toolkits. The Environmental Education Conference will assist in amplifying their message to their peers as well as to educators and policymakers, showcasing how environmental education is a much needed catalyst that assists in the evolution of learners, irrespective of their backgrounds and capabilities, into stewards of the environment. By engaging new immigrants and refugees from Ukraine, it will address the key objective of the SDGs, which is to create a world where no one is left behind.